Hi, I'm Dylan Smith, and I'm here at McDonald's. My team and I are filming this project to see what people really know about the fast foods that they eat almost every day. We interviewed many teenagers specifically to enlighten them on what's in their favorite fast foods. Let's take a look, shall we? food and why? Uh, probably once a week, maybe twice a week, like because we're hungry and it's cheap. I eat it about once a month. Probably a couple times a month. Uh, I would say a couple times a month. Four or five times a month. Uh, I don't eat fast food. I try to avoid it as much as possible. Uh, usually four or five times a month. Two to three times a week. And I'd say the overwhelming reason is just from a crave. Half the time I don't even really want the food. I just don't want what's in my pantry. And I know that I can drive to a place like Burger King, for example, and get a cheap meal that tastes good. And mostly I go out with my friends just to hang out and we eat just for fun. Probably for either traveling or on the very small occasion recreation. After a sport event. It's because my dad doesn't know how to cook and my mom teaches. Because I'm with friends or am very hungry and don't have enough money to go to fancy places. More often than not, I go for the large hamburger combo. I like a drink and fries and a hamburger. I go to Wendy's and I usually get um, a quarter pounder, a medium french fry, and a medium chocolate milkshake. Places like Taco Bell. Sometimes we go to McDonald's. McDonald's, I think. I get a McChicken. And fries. Subway and a veggie sub with all the vegetables. I don't know. Taco Bell, Einstein's, Panera, bagels, tacos, bagels and tacos. Uh, I usually go to either Qdoba or Subway. And at Qdoba, I usually just get a grilled chicken burrito. On TacoBell.com, they say, we are always pushing for nutrition transparency among ourselves and our suppliers. We have a team of chefs, food scientists, and culinary experts that work together every day to ensure our menu is innovative, tastes great, affordable, and offers balanced options. Would you eat their food? Yeah. So we found a list of ingredients that McDonald's advertises to put in their french fries, and that is potatoes, olive oil, and salt. Would you buy french fries based on that, those list of ingredients? Yes, of course, obviously. Our research team looked up how Wendy's advertises their food. Our hamburgers are made from fresh, never frozen beef and served on quality buns from select bakeries. Does that sound appetizing to you? Extremely. Now, we also found a list of ingredients that are in McDonald's french fries that are not advertised and those being ammonia, which is a chemical used in cleaning products, BPA, which is used in plastic sealants, and uh, propylene, which is a material used in antifreeze. Would you still purchase french fries if you knew that these ingredients were in there? <laughs> no, not at all. That is just disgusting. And only 88% of it is actual beef. The rest is nobody knows. Does that still sound appetizing? Um, not as much, no. I probably wouldn't, I would be, I would feel guilty after eating that. Are you serious? That, that's really disgusting. Ammonia, strong chemical used in cleaning products. Bisphenol A, also known as BPA, which is used in plastic sealants, and it's also linked to brain and prostate problems, especially in children. And propylene, a material used in antifreeze. Does that sound appetizing to you? Yeah, I would still eat it. It probably keeps the meat cleaner, helps extend the shelf life, and I've been eating it for years, and it still tastes great, so why would I change that? Obviously, it hasn't hurt me yet. I work at Del Taco, a fashion industry. Uh, before I started at Del Taco, it isn't much different than what you would expect. Uh, it's really busy, it's busy around lunch and dinner. It's pretty gross, so I recommend it. Don't recommend any fast food, but you really find out what's in the food, which is kind of weird. 